Hi folks, happy Friday, I hope all is well. So as recruiters, we love to deliver job offers on a Friday. So today is the day to do it. You know, all our efforts, all our emails, all our phone calls, today is the day that all this comes to fruition and we get the successful acceptance of the offer that we have for the candidate, hopefully. So it's really important at this point to tune up our listening, negotiation skills, influencing is really important as well. But I suppose it's really important to go through the phases. So we're very excited. We've got a high energy levels and so on. But I mean, we need to go through the phases in the process to make sure we get the successful outcome that we want as well. So when you get the candidate on the phone, invariably it does tend to be over phone rather than face to face, time constraints, ideally face to face. I wouldn't put the offer in an email, certainly not until after the phone call takes place. So bring the conversation back at, to the very start. Bear in mind, it could have taken two, two or three months to get through the full process. So go back to the very start, you know, when, what the re original reasons were for applying for the role, you know, uh, the expectations of the candidate at the time in terms of salary as well, and refresh on all of that. Then also refresh on all the other opportunities the candidate is interviewing for at the moment as well, where they're at, and then their interest levels in terms of your opportunity. Once you're happy with all of that, then it's time to deliver the offer, be articulate, be clear and concise and to the point, and then congratulate the candidate. Of course, that's really important as well. So to elevate that, that pitch of the offer. Then when you finish delivering the offer, I would suggest to listen, ask the question, what's your gut feeling on the offer that I've just given you, and then really tune up your listening. Listen, listening for any hesitations, you know, uh, maybe silences and so on and so forth that might get you to think, OK, there's an issue here and so on. OK, so at this point, I would suggest the references are done. I think they're, they should be done early in the process because it saves time and, it, it, you know, it doesn't hold up the momentum in the process at this juncture. So listen to the candidate, you know, hopefully, I mean, the successful outcome to this call is that you get would get a verbal acceptance of the offer. And then you're communicating to the candidate. Well, th what that really does is allows you to go back to your client, get the admin rolling and get the contract done out to the candidate as well. Ask them, is there any reason why they wouldn't accept the offer at this point in time? Any obstacles to accepting it? And then you're also managing for the counter offer. So rather than, you, know, you I think you actually need to assume at this point that they will be counter offered. And just say to them, you know, if you go into your current employer and hand in your notice, you know, and they offer you 5,000 more um, or an extra daily rate or whatever, what's your answer going to be? So put them in that moment on this call. I think that's really, really good to preempt that. And then they're not, I suppose, if you like, kind of surprised when they go in to hand in their notice as well. I think that is really, really important at this juncture as well. So to ask them that, also you can work with them in terms of maybe handing in their resignation letter if needs be. You could do a role play around kind of, you know, handing in their notice if they need to do that as well. It's all about, I suppose, keeping the momentum, keeping the communication opening, or sorry, open and getting the candidate to accept the offer as well. So, I mean, at this point, there's a lot of people depending on this. Ultimately, it should be a really positive moment. It's, it's, it's the role that the candidate has wanted for quite a while. It's, it's the commission check for you as a recruiter or as an internal TA, maybe bonus related as well. And also the hiring manager is, is depending on a, a successful outcome to this call as well because they need this person to come in. They've spent a lot of time in the interview process as well. So let, let's make sure we get it right, folks. Refresh again in terms of the original reason for applying for the role. Listen, you're constantly listening to any hesitations as well. And then follow up after the call with a, a clear email in terms of, you know, uh, relating to all the content of the offer. Put that in an email straight away to keep the momentum going. Give the candidate time to digest it if they're not prepared to give you verbal acceptance over the phone in that instance. Follow up again tomorrow. Ask them what their thoughts are as well. And, you know, I suppose at this point, you're an extension of the client in terms of how you deliver the offer. And equally, then you have a duty of care to go back on behalf of the candidate to the client as well. Once they accept the offer, what I would suggest is to meet them for a cup of coffee, you know, before they start and certainly tie in with them again with the candidate a week before they start to make sure everything is OK, because it's that full 360 degree process, which would set you up for success right from the start to the, 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 the middle and the end as well, to make sure that the candidate comes in on a Monday morning and switches on the computer and starts in that really exciting new role for them. And the hiring manager is really looking forward to them starting. So there's a lot of stakeholders involved in this process. So that's it, folks. Managing expectations, listening and clear 
communication at this point and you're really set up for successful offer acceptance at this point in time. Next week, we'll look a little bit more maybe at the talent management side of, of coaching and how companies can get better engagement with candidates as they look to attract candidates into their organizations. It's Kitty and at progresscoaching.ie, folks. Happy Friday. We've got the offer over the line. Great stuff. Talk to you soon. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.